pamilya sa Balitang Amerika ngayon. President Obama reaches out to the struggling middle class in his State of the Union address. And armless Filipina Jessica Park is hailed as a living legend. Sa State of the Union Address ni Pangulong Obama, sinisikap niyang tugunan ang malalaking problemang sinasagupa ng taumbayan. Partikular po dito ang middle class na naghihirap dahilan sa ating ekonomiya. A few days shy of his State of the Union Address tonight, the President came out with proposals that are meant to ease the economic sufferings of the middle class. The President's approval rating is at an all-time low and this is no surprise since the people who brought him to the White House are struggling to make ends meet. Jackie Conclara is a mother to three young boys. Although she and her husband have both kept their jobs, she admits the recession has been tough on middle class families like hers. But she has faith that Obama would come to the rescue. I have always given Obama the benefit of the doubt. I, it has been a year and I'm not really expecting miracles from him within that period. Obama recently unveiled plans on how to provide long-term help for middle class families. Among the proposals, to expand the child and dependent care tax credit for families who earn up to $115,000 a year. For a family with two children and income of $80,000, the maximum credit would increase from $1,200 to $2,100. But Conclara says it's not enough. That's not even enough if you compare it to the actual expenses that we as a, our family pays for child care. Obama also plans to boost spending by $1.6 billion for more than 200,000 children through the Child Care and Development Fund. At least they would broaden or increase the, 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 lim the income limits for state-run or city-run daycares so us, the middle class, can, can avail of it. Suzanne Correa says it's about time Obama reaches out to struggling middle-class families. Korea takes care of her 96-year-old mother, Peggy. She says not a lot of families are equipped to take care of elderly relatives. This society isn't necessarily prepared for that. So a lot of people in the United States hand off their parents to somebody else to take care of. Um, keeping parents at home, keeping them with the family, and caring for them is something that's becoming a little more common, but it's still rare. Um, and so there aren't systems in place to prepare people. Obama plans to provide over $100 million to support families caring for a relative with counseling, training, transportation, and temporary respite care. Correa hopes the plan would alleviate the burden for people who have a hard time balancing work and caring for their relatives. They really shouldn't be a burden. And there are ways to help them not be a burden, to help them continue to be productive and contributing members of society. But yet we have done very little to promote that and to support that. The rest of Obama's plan for the middle class include capping federal student loan payments at 10% of a person's income and making individual retirement accounts automatic in workplaces that do not offer retirement. For his second year in office, middle class families hope that President Obama would truly focus on their needs and give them the relief they need to survive these tough times. Henny Espinosa, ABS-CBN News, San Bruno, California. In his State of the Union address, President Obama is trying to rebuild enthusiasm for his economic 